I am Bishop McDonald. I am the bishop of uh, this couple here that is about to become married. And uh, I just wanted to introduce myself and, and say that uh, I had the opportunity to meet with both of these individuals um, a couple weeks ago, and I, it, it was uh, a great experience. I can't be more happy for them, and I can tell that they were both uh, very excited themselves. Um, I just wanted to share a couple of my favorite quotes that go along with marriage uh, before I get into the ceremony. And so if you'll just bear with me. Uh, the, uh, one of the first quotes I wanted to share was by President Hinckley. He said, in the marriage companionship, there is neither inferiority nor superiority. The woman does not walk ahead of the man, neither does she walk, neither does the man walk ahead of the woman. They walk side by side as sons and daughters of God on an eternal journey. Um, a couple years ago, President uh, or Elder Bednar gave a talk where he, uh, he shared a beautiful story, and I just want to share that, and then we will go into the ceremony. He says, in my office is a beautiful painting of a wheat field. The painting is a vast collection of individual brush strokes, none of which in isolation is very interesting or impressive. In fact, if you stand close to the canvas, all you can see is the mass of seemingly unrelated and unattractive streaks of yellow, gold, and brown paint. However, as you gradually move away from the canvas, all of the individual brush strokes combine together and produce a magnificent landscape of a wheat field. Many ordinary individual brush strokes work together to create a captivating and beautiful painting. Each family prayer, each episode of family scripture study, each family home evening is a brush stroke on the canvas of our souls. No one event may appear to be very impressive or more memorable, but just as the yellow and golden brown strokes of paint complement each other, and produce an impressive masterpiece. So our consistency in doing seemingly small things can lead to significant spiritual results. Wherefore be not weary in well-doing, for ye are laying the foundation of a great work, and out of small things proceeded that which is great. And then one last quote uh, that I really appreciate is that by President McKay where he said that no, no other success can compensate for failure in the home. And I just want to say that you guys are starting your union, and this is your opportunity to support each other and help each other. And both of you can give 100%. And by doing so, you will lead a happy and fruitful life. And I just wanted to leave that with you. So if you would please take each other by the right hand. Aaron Gregory, Sterling Ives, and Stephanie Tuckett. You have taken one another by the right hand in token of the covenants. You will now enter into the presence of God and these witnesses. Aaron Gregory, Sterling Ives. Do you take Stephanie Tuckett as your lawfully wedded wife, and do you of your own free will and choice covenant with her, covenant as her companion and lawfully wedded husband that you will cleave unto her and none else, that you will observe all the laws, covenants, and obligations pertaining to the holy state of matrimony, and that you will love, honor, and cherish her as long as you both shall live? I do. And Stephanie Tuckett, do you take Aaron Gregory Sterling Ives as your lawfully wedded husband, and do you of your own free will and choice covenant as his companion and lawfully wedded wife that you will cleave unto him? And none else, that you will observe all the laws, covenants, and obligations pertaining to the holy state of matrimony, and that you will love, honor, and cherish him as long as you both shall live. 
By virtue of the legal authority vested in me as an elder of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, I pronounce you Aaron Gregory, Sterling Ives, and Stephanie Tuckett, husband and wife, legally and lawfully wedded for the period of your mortal lives. You may now exchange rings if you have them. May God bless your union with joy in your posterity as long as life and a long life of happiness together. And may he enable you to keep sacred the covenants you have made. His blessings I invoke upon you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.